hybrid is, is a pest. He tries to get his tank mates to release the mullet so that he could grab it. He keeps chasing them and pestering them and bumping them. I'm strongly disliking, the, disliking this fish. He bothers everybody in the tank trying to rob them of their of their feed. hybrid tiger shovel nose red tail catfish it's really gotten on my nerves in the 4500 gallon the less aggressive one he was uh, every time I throw fish in there mullet or herring he would chase everybody who has fish in their mouth and hasn't swallowed it and make him spit it out and and so he grabs him he, he turned into a real pest in there over the last I want to say three, four months. So I had enough. I took him out. I put him uh, in the aggressive 4,500 gallon with all the red tails and piraiba. But they started mouthing him. That's the little damage on the on the tail and on the. He was in the mouth of piraiba for a little bit. Everybody was very much uh, full in there from the last feeding. So nobody wanted to eat him, or could eat him. But it was obvious that as soon as they, as soon as they got hungry, they would, they would probably try and eat him. So I had to take him out and put him in this time out into the 240 gallon. So that's where he is for now. The other one is the Marmorados. The video on, on this fish is coming. This was attacked by the smaller piraiba in the less aggressive 4500 gallon, but this is a subject of a different video. I'm gonna explain what's happening with this fish there. This is just an update on the hybrid. They all like they are all like that. This is not uh, this particular hybrid's trait. Every hybrid I had in that uh, rate in that age and size, he's about two feet. Probably not about. He's he's pretty much two feet, if not a little over. But he was a chew toy for uh, piraiba and uh, red tails. But anyhow, as I was saying, every hybrid I I ever kept like in this uh, age and and uh, size range, they're all like that. They chase other fish and try to take away their food. They swim very very quickly around the tank when the feeding is occurring because I throw fish in different spots and they aim to pick up everything in every corner and therefore usually they feed very well or overfeed and some others don't get enough 
So this is the problem with the hybrid red tail catfish that I have observed uh, with at least half a dozen of them, if not more. Something to keep in mind if you want to keep this fish in the community with other fish. This is how they are when they're about uh, one to three years old and about one and a half foot to two and a half foot size. Usually it subsides uh, after that, uh, after that, but uh, all the catfish lessen their feeding once they reach the, uh, once the instinct that tells them to reach uh, a size that is hard to prey on. Once that instinct subsides, they subside uh, eating so much. He just went in this tank last night because during the feeding he was really obnoxious and that was all happening last night when I tried to put him in the tank with the jumbos and then after about half an hour when I realized he's not gonna be he's not gonna survive in there I placed him in this 240 He would chase everybody, this is his former tank, he would chase everybody who would grab a fish, gar, arowana, other catfish, masir, it doesn't matter, if he senses that, uh, if he smells that they have a fish in their mouth, that's it, he's going after them and uh, trying to get them to release it. So he turned into a real pest in here. Gurami, of course. If Gurami has him in the mouth, doesn't matter. Again, doesn't matter who has it. If, you, if they don't swallow it quick enough, he's going to chase him and try to get him to release the fish to him. Big Bird is saying hi.